From Fox 56 Sports, this is the Home Team Friday Night's Tip-Off. Sponsored by The Window Source. We've reached the end of the road as the girls' Sweet 16 is underway. Peyton Hinkle and Tyler Melita are live at Rupp ahead of the big matchups today. And I'm kind of nervous with the basketball in Tyler's hand. <laughs> You know, I just had to remind everyone that I did make the layup, and I'm still a better basketball player than Peyton. That's probably true. It's probably not. You wrong. can sing better than I'm I can. I'm not gonna die. That that's true. Yes. I'll stick. I'll <laughs> stick with that, and I'll stick with this. It, maybe maybe we let the players here today stick with that. That is very true. That They're, is true. Right? We had six teams from our viewing area make it to mm -hmm. Rupp Arena for the Sweet 16, all of which is, is no small feat. Yeah, and we had the chance to catch up with all six of them mm -hmm. that came to Rupp uh, this week, and so it was a lot of fun, and obviously they're just very grateful to be here. Hearing those stories was truly remarkable. Take a listen. It's been a long season, one filled with ups and downs, but with the season almost over, making it to the Sweet 16 is a remarkable feeling. Oh, it was just a, a really great moment because, I mean, doing it with them, it's all, it's, that's all it's about. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's really, it's a, a huge blessing. For some schools like Owsley County and Danville Christian, playing at Rupp Arena is a new experience. We've been working at it since we were little and two years ago, we were so close from doing it and we got, we got beat on a last second shot. And now that we won it, I mean, my words can't describe how, how special this is to us and to the, the support from the community is just amazing. For others like GRC or North Laurel, Rupp is basically a second home. This is our, our second straight trip. We won last year, came up here, made it to the lead eight. Uh, obviously, we have goals of hoping to, to advance even farther, and that's what we talked about in the preseason. Some schools are looking for redemption, like Anderson County and Franklin County from past tournaments. I think our kids were motivated to get back because that's what they grew up knowing, you know, uh, in our program was going to the state tournament. But whether the team likes to run and gun, or grind it out on defense. These last few games serve as an opportunity for these girls to represent the name on the front of their jerseys, the people who cheer them on. At the end of the day, when we play, they show up. And it's not just regional championships or district championships. It's regular season games on a Tuesday. And, and you kind of look up and you're like, I can't believe this many people are here. But um, that's who they are. It's really a honorable opportunity to wear Warriors on our jersey and represent Warriors of Christ and just to go up there and play and with good attitudes to glorify God. You know, coming from a smaller school, everybody does know everybody. Everybody's really excited for us. And you get to walk down the hallway and everybody's like, you know, good luck tonight, congratulations. Uh, we're coming to the game. We'll be there cheering. Yeah, and for two of those teams, it was their first time coming to Rupp, Owsley County, and Danville Christian Academy. And sadly, five of the six teams lost, but they were all very competitive. You mentioned Owsley and Danville Christian, both lost by two points. Great crossing in North Laurel. Those were close games as well, and as Anderson County as well. Franklin County is the only one who's made it to the Elite Eight. They play later this afternoon, and we're wishing them luck. Yeah, and like you said, a lot of those games were very close, so it's mm -hmm. been a lot of good basketball action here on the hardwood at Rupp. But coming up That's in right. our next half hour. We're not done just yet. Nope. We're going to talk to KHSA Commissioner Julian Tackett about what all goes into putting on an event like this. Safe to say it is a lot, but we'll have more news and weather before that after the break.